Welcome to the uh, Blue Box PHP tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to customize and add your own content to a uh, website page. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new project. I'll call it custom. Just re use the default uh, database connection and we'll use the jewelry demo database again. What I'm going to do is uh, select in the website node, just right click and create a new page. I'm going to select the page with header, left column, content and footer and call it index and select OK. OK, now we've created the page. If we look in the Blue Box PHP uh, documents, Blue Box PHP projects directory, we'll see our new created project custom. And if we look in the scripts directory, we can see there's a number of files and one folder. And the, the files are website index XML. This contains user defined attributes, which I'll explain in a later tutorial. But uh, the three files that we're interested in are the uh, website index script HTML, this is our HTML page, uh, index CSS, which contains our CSS, and also index script uh, JS, which, could, which contains our JavaScript. So if we look at the contents of our HTML file, so in the HTML file you can see there's a few areas that uh, Bluebox PHP uses. There's three, these three uh, commented out lines here, which is uh, where Bluebox PHP puts the uh, CSS JavaScript and pre-head, uh, sorry, in-head content. Then at the bottom of the page, we also have some uh, another tag, which is where we put our additional HTML, and three lines that Bluebox PHP uses for its overlay, master detail, and loader displays. And also within the body of the HTML, you can see there's a number of uh, different comments that Bluebox PHP uses to actually place its content within the page. And these correspond to the actual divs. If I just switch back to, you can see these are the divs here, header, menu, left nav, content and footer. And these are the corresponding comments, so the header, menu, left nav content and footer. Apart from these comments and these areas, we can change this file any way we want uh, to put in custom content. So we'll start doing that now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do in this project is to add a custom footer to the page. If I switch back to Blue Box and select the index page and build it, we can see the page is totally empty apart from a placeholder for the header uh, image. Okay, so back in the HTML, I have some HTML I've already written. Now what I can do here is uh, I'm actually going to replace the whole of the footer div, which means that uh, Blue Box PHP will also lose the use to be able to place anything within the footer itself. So if I just replace that with some, uh, some pre-written HTML that I have and save the file, and now switch back to Bluebox PHP and rebuild the index page. Okay, we we'll see we've got content in there, which is what we're expecting, but it's not uh, stylized, it hasn't got any CSS settings to it at the moment. So going back to our projects custom scripts directory, one of the other files we've got is website. Uh, index script.css. I'm now going to edit this file as well. And if we look in the index script CSS file, we can see there's already some CSS that was um, created from the template. It's not pure CSS, there's still placeholders where Bluebox PHP, when it generates a page, replaces these with, with custom attributes. But we can add any CSS to this file, and uh, Bluebox PHP will just accept it. So I've got some pre-written CSS, 
I'll just place it in the file and save again that file. And if I now switch back to Blue Box, and if I rebuild the index page now, okay, so we can see the styling has uh, altered the layout, but it's still not complete. There's still some components in the CSS that uh, Blue Box isn't uh, taking into account. So if we just switch back to NetBeans and look at our CSS, we can see that we're actually using an image which we haven't added to the project yet called middle sprite.png. So if I now go back and look at the scripts directory, <coughs> the folder in scripts directory we have is uh, index images and any graphics are, that are required by these pages are just placed inside this index images directory. So I'm now going to copy the required image into this directory. So the image you're looking for is middle sprite png, which I have here. And this is my website index images directory from the projects custom scripts. And I just want to copy that into there. So here we have our script files again, and in our images directory we have our uh, the new graphic we just added. If we now go back to Blue Box and rebuild the index page again, okay, that looks better. That's exactly how we wanted the footer to look, and that's all customized. Okay, the next thing I want to do with the page is I just want to uh, replace this header um, background image and maybe make the header a little bit uh, shorter, not quite as high. So with the page selected, going into the page editor, I have the background image here. I just select change image and I'm going to go into our images directory. I have a title already, which I'll open and use. And I'm just going to set the header height instead of 140 to 100. And rebuild the index page. Okay, so we've now got a new header, a new header height. We haven't got any content yet. Um, I'll actually have some content now. So in the jewelry table, I'll just get all of the data box. Selecting data box, I'll select one of the views that I like. Okay, that's okay. I'll grab the data box, left click, and move, drag and drop into content. And I'll rebuild index page again. Okay, so we've got some content. We've still got our footer. I'm going to remove a few things. I'm going to remove the caption, switch these items off, and put the page to the bottom. So the first thing I'll do is switch off the add and to export items just by deselecting them means that they aren't displayed. I also don't know the uh, don't require the ID. I'll now rebuild the page. Okay, so that's removed our items. Just by deselecting them means that they aren't actually built. In fact, we also don't need the code column, so I'll remove that. And I'm just going to move the price to be the first column to be displayed. Rebuild. Okay, that's uh, nice and short. I'll now select the data box, go into the data editor, remove the caption, go into the pager. I'll change the style and I'm going to display the pager just at the bottom instead of at the top and I'll switch it to the right. Rebuild the index page. We have our page at the bottom. We've still got our custom footer and we've got our new background header. Okay, the next thing I want to do is uh, above at the top of the page I'm going to add some Google AdSense from our Google AdSense account. So going back to our index script HTML file that we just added the footer to, I'm going to go to the top and inside the container I'm just going to add our scripts for our Google AdSense. Save it. Go back to Blue Box and rebuild the index page. Okay, so we've, as easy as that, we've now added Google AdSense. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to make the, our, dis, our table display a little bit narrower, and I'm going to add a new widget box on the left here. So going into selecting the page again, going to the page editor. 
I'm actually going to change the container width. In fact, we'll make it a little bit wider, 950. I'm going to make the left nav a little bit wider, 240. I'll just rebuild the page to see how the new layout looks. Okay, that gives us enough space. Okay, so on the left here, I'm going to add an Agoda search box. <coughs> if I just switch back to NetBeans IDE, come down, I'm going to put it in the left nav menu, which is here. I'm going to put it on top of any other content. So it's just a holder div for the search box. Okay, after I've added our Agoda, Agoda search box div, I'm just going to add the Agoda search box code and save. Switching back to Bluebox and rebuilding the index page. Okay, we can see we've added our Agoda com search box. We need to move things around a little bit. It's getting a little bit clipped. Our footer's still working fine. If I just now, with the page index selected, go to page editor. I'm going to reduce the content of the main area to 650. Make the left nav a little bit wider. Rebuild the index page. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so in this tutorial, we've just selected a page from a standard template, and then once we once a page has been created by editing the script files. We've added custom AdSense, sorry, a Goda AdSense in the custom page. We've added uh, a widget or a Goda.com search, and also a custom footer. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial on adding custom data. In fact, just to show you that we can still uh, alter the content we have here, if I select the data box, I'll change the style. Go into the page here, and we'll only display five items per page. Rebuild the index page so it keeps it nice and short. And we can see if we're still going through using our page here, looking at different content. With everything being delivered as Ajax, then the page itself doesn't refresh. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial on customizing a page template.